back to my channel. I have for you today a small build that I had worked on a while ago and I really hope you like it. Um, it's called the Tiny Garden Home and actually I will pop up a picture of the house that I got inspiration from online and I just figured I'd try to, you know, copy it and whatnot and yeah, so here we go. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to go in here and like I said, it's a really small house. It's, it's for one or two sims and there's a little greenhouse in here, which I mean right now actually I only have a couple little um, flowers that, you know, I just kind of popped in from the, I think the garden pack, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, and then we're going to, I mean you can put, you know, you can take them out and put actual plants in there. And yeah, so let's go see the inside. Right when you go through the door, you look over, there's a little cutesy little seating area right by the main window. Uh, we swing around here, and that's actually where, you know, the little table and chairs are, so if she has any guests or whatever. This is a sim I just, I created, uh, I kind of randomized her name and stuff like that, but she is on the gallery. She has some mm -hmm. custom content, but um, her name is, I think, Charlie Radford or something. <laughs> but anyways, story. like, you just <laughs> go under my uh, mm -hmm. hashtag Blonde Simmer and... Ah. and you, you'll find it there. But yeah, so there's a little bookshelf I created over on the side because um, it's, you know, a tight spot right there. So I figured I'd put those cute little shelves there and whatnot. Um, here's her little kitchen, which is, you know, obviously big enough for the Sim to, you know, cook and stuff. And, you know, which obviously she'd be in the kitchen. Then over here on the left is where, you know, she would have some storage you know, for her dishes and, and, you know, whatever. And then there's the bookshelf on the right. So, you know, obviously she can read and stuff. <laughs> And then in here is just a washing machine on the right, um, and there is a clothesline on the in the back, which I will show you at the end. Um, and then you know we'll go into the bathroom. So on the right, when you go down the hall, it's a really tight spot, but there's enough room for a shower and a sink. And then uh, if we swing around here, there's as you can see, there was a little um, couple more shelves for more storage. And if you can see through the window, there's actually her uh, clothesline, which is you know just right there. And then there's obviously the toilet, and the, there's no door. Um, just because, you know, really right now it's just her, so it's just a very private dwelling. This is the other side of the, uh, you know, the little living space, the kitchen, dining room, living room. And then if we go upstairs is her boudoir, her little cutesy bedroom with, you know, little uh, balcony and whatnot. There's a plant and stuff. And it's just really simple. I mean, this house actually took a really long time for me to build, to be totally fair, because <laughs> um, I was just trying to get all the dimensions and stuff. But yeah, this is the the bedroom with, you know, there's a bunch of windows, you know, on, on each side. So there's plenty of natural lighting that comes in. And uh, I'll show you the backyard. All right, so starting back at the front again, there's a cat meowing in the background <laughs> right now um, in game. But yeah, this, you know, actually, you know, the front of the house. We're going to swing around to the side. There's a bunch of, like, trees and stuff like that. But yeah, it's like, uh, the house is actually that I found online, which I, you know, I, I showed you in the beginning. It, it, if you notice, it is actually like a trailer. And it's it's built on the top of a truck or something like that. It's pretty it's pretty uh pretty cool actually. That's what I thought was just very different, you know. But the back here is you know a nice little sitting area. You know you could have some iced tea and stuff. And there's a little uh, bird feeder and there's you know where she can hang up her clothes to dry because you know there's no dryer. Obviously there's no there's no room. I didn't I purposely didn't do it because I kind of wanted to make it somewhat of an eco house I guess you could say. Um, but then if we swing around here, there's tons of plants, you know, the greenhouse and everything. And again, you guys can modify that to make it so it can actually be a greenhouse instead of a just for show. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed um, my house that I had built for you guys. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Again, it's uh, going to be under the um, hashtag The Blonde Simmer. It's going to be under um, the hashtag Tiny... Um, Tiny garden home, or <laughs> oh my god, and you know, greenhouse and stuff like that. But and if you don't follow me, you should totally follow me at Origin, which is um, Mrs. Lapine. And yeah, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, guys, bye.